I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on vectors. We will try to find coordinates of image point over a plane. The question here is find the image of point P134 reflected over the plane 2x minus y plus z plus 3 equals to 0. So consider a plane right here like this. whose equation is given to us and if I consider a point here P we are looking forward to find its image that really means that uh, the distance of the point the perpendicular distance of the point to the plane and the image point P dash should be same right now in this particular case we'll assume this to be right here right so that is how it is now <clears throat> let us assume that the coordinates of the point are x y and z the point p given to us is 1 3 and 4 now what is the direction p p dash now this direction since it is perpendicular is also along the normal to the plane so when we are given this plane which is 2x minus y plus z plus 3 equals to 0, we know for this plane the normal is uh, 2 minus 1, 1. Correct? This normal and the direction p, p dash, they are same. So that means the, the direction p, p dash direction which is, which could be written as x minus 1, y minus 3, and z minus 4 is scalar multiple of this, correct? A scalar multiple of this. Uh, that is to say, let's say scalar multiple k times 2 minus 1, 1, correct? Since both of them are parallel. Perfect. Now from this, we can actually get in general the value of x, y, and z. So we can say that x minus 1 is equals to 2k or x is equals to 2k plus 1, y minus 3 is equals to minus k or y is equals to uh, minus k plus 3 z minus 4 is equal to k or z is equal to k plus 4. Okay. So what we get here is is a relation which relates the point uh, with the scale factor k. Now any point on this line can actually be represented by this scale factor. So to find the value of k, let us find the point which will be right there on the plane itself. Right? So this is also scalar multiple. So that is in general x, y, z is coordinates of any point on this particular line. So, to find the value of k, we can substitute these values in the equation of the plane. So, what we get here is 2 times, instead of x, we'll write 2k plus 1 minus y value is minus k plus 3 plus z, which is k plus 4 plus 3 equals to 0. So from here we can find k. So we have 4k plus 2 minus, minus becomes plus k, minus 3 plus k plus 4 plus 3 equals to 0. So we have 4, 5 and 1, 6k. The numbers are 2 minus 3 is minus 1, minus 1 plus 4 is my is 3 and 3 plus 3 is 6. So we get plus 6 equals to 0 
और k इज इक्व टू माइनस सिक्स ओवर सिक्स विच इज माइनस वन नाउ इफ k इज माइनस वन वी गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ x, y एंड z, राइट सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ x एज इक्व टू टू टाइम्स माइनस वन प्लस वन विच इज माइनस टू प्लस वन और माइनस वन एंड y वैल्यू विल बी y value will be minus k plus 3 so if i substitute minus of this value minus of minus 1 plus 3 i get y value of 4 and the z value is k plus 4 which is minus 1 plus 4 or 3 so we get values 1 4 and 3 and these are the points which are the midpoints let's say So midpoint for us are minus one, four, and three. Got it? So we actually uh, equated any point on this and found the midpoints, right? So because we substituted all these values in the equation of the plane. Now this is the midpoint for that. So now we can find these values, right? So not to confuse you. I will take them as x1, y1, z1. Okay, so so x1, y1, z1. We found x, y, z. Let's see like this. Correct. So we just worked out this, and now I'm extending this line, and figuring out what those points will be. Since this is the midpoint, the average value is minus one. Correct. So we have x plus one divided by two is equals to minus one. So that is x plus one equals to minus two, x is equals to minus three. Perfect. Average of y, which is y, I mean you can write x one y one. Okay, so x one. Okay. So this y value, that is y one, plus three divided by two should be equal to four, right? So we have y one plus three equals to eight, y one equals to eight minus three, which is five. And now let's find the point Z. Four plus that is Z one plus four divided by two is the midpoint three, correct? So cross multiply. Z one plus four equals to six. Z one is six minus four, which is two. So that gives us the image points. And now our answer is that P dash. The image is four. I mean. I mean, sorry, minus three. Sorry, minus three. That this is the value. Minus three, five, and two. So these are the image points. We get our answer as minus three, five, and two. So the steps involved in such questions are: we say that the line P P dash is parallel to the normal. and therefore they are scalar multiples so k is the my scalar multiple factor now first i find the point of intersection m knowing fully well that the image will be same distance away and m becomes my midpoint right to find the point m i use these x y z values in the equation of the plane so intersection of line pm and the plane pi let's say right we found that once we find that then p dash will be calculated using the midpoint and the given point so the average of these two values are the midpoint values and we found our midpoint so these are the steps involved to solve such a question i hope that helps thanks for watching and all the best